We're on our way to the gym now. I'm gonna film the workout. Um, we are going to do some practice the squat openers with me this weekend. I'm not, I'm just gonna go like, probably just do the same intensity that I did at nationals. Squat opener and then bench opener and then deadlift opener or deadlift last time up. Uh, I, I'm probably just going to go to like 65% on the deadlift now that I think of it because it is Wednesday night. <laughs> yeah, true. The meet is on Saturday.
What you got? I got this. Right. Okay. Okay, so I'm making chili. I got the red onion. Look how perfect I cut that up. And then mushrooms. Mushrooms are, I don't normally add mushrooms to chili, but I figured it would add some volume, some olive oil, and I'll just saute up the red onion. So when I, I already have chili tracked, but it was a long time ago that I made it, so I'm gonna retrack it, so I'll show you guys how I do that. But like, I just make it and uh, measure out all the ingredients separately, so I know how many grams of each ingredient, and then um, I plug in the recipe in my fitness pal, and then I weigh out the entire amount afterwards, and then I do the recipe as a serving size of grams. So like either 100 grams will be like one serving kind of thing. So I'll show you how I do that. But that was red onion. It was 62 grams, and then 85 grams of mushroom. So. And I'll use a full package of this ground turkey stuff. We're going to use a can of the kidney beans and a can of the corn. And I ended up picking out this tomato sauce for chili. Okay, so this tomato sauce, and it's 50 calories per half cup. Cook like mushrooms and onions first with the ground turkey. Um, onion powder, chili powder, and probably a little tiny bit of the garlic powder. If you have a clove of garlic, that would probably taste better. Probably like that much is good. It's really strong. Chili powder, if you use ground turkey, it actually is um, science fact of the day. It's, it's hydrophobic, so it dissolves in fats and oils better. So you'll get a stronger chili flavor, and this is true with anything, if the meat is fattier. So since turkey is not fatty at all, like you need to add so much in order to, to, to taste it. So this is just, that's like phase one. I'll probably add so much more afterwards, but I just add that and then I kind of taste it along the way just to see how it turns out. I'll just add a little bit of the Italian seasoning. When I make spaghetti sauce, I'll add like way more Italian seasoning than this because it's like, that's a flavor I want to accentuate, but with the chili, I kind of want to accentuate the chili flavor. You know what I'm saying? So I added the full can of the corn, and that's what it looks like now. So I just put the kidney beans in strainer and rinse them. And so now I'm going to add the secret ingredient. Gonna make it a sweet chili flavor. Okay, so that was about a half of a cup. Mix it up, see how it tastes, and then let it just sit until it thickens. Oh, that looks like good chili. Jeff's favorite meal. Okay, yes. Just you mean my butt? Yeah. So now I'm gonna weigh out the full thing. So I set, I put a big container on the scale, set it to zero, and then I just weigh the full thing out. Okay, so I wanna take a look at the total. Grams. Jeff already has all the ingredients tracked, I'm pretty sure. Peppers, red onion, mushrooms, corn, kidney beans, ketchup, tomato sauce, the turkey, and I actually put a half. I'm gonna track it, whatever. Put some of you. So this uh, serving size, you want to make it the serving size or the 
number of servings in the whole recipe. One, three, two, six, and one gram is one serving. So save. It says one calorie, but it will, like it does calculate it. It doesn't round up or anything. So you can use one gram as one serving. So when you track it, you if you weighed out 200 grams of chili, it would be 200 servings. And I've been doing this for, I think like two or two and a half years. So it's worked for me so far. I suggest that if you guys don't know how to do that, or if you didn't know how to do that before, that's a good suggestion. So I had 275 grams of chili, and that turns out to be 284 calories and 8.5 fat, 28.6 carbs, and 24.2 protein. That's pretty good. Sometimes I'll make it higher protein, but I kind of like that distribution of macros. And there's like quite a bit of fiber. It's five grams of fiber in that serving. That's a lot. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, more vlogs coming soon. I'm still in prep, so it's going to be pretty exciting. I'm going to try to do some posing videos for you guys. Um, do some more days of eating. And of course, the training vlog. This will keep coming. Yeah. Please like this video if you like the video and please subscribe. Your support means so much to me. Thanks guys.